Welcome to Firechild Quick Cuts, where we're going to give you just the steps and none of the commentary. This is what we're creating. In the default Blender scene, delete your lamp, go into top view, hit Control alt numpad 0 take your cube, scale it up. You want to scale it up to where that back face of the cube is filling your camera view, like so. Then you want to create a new particle system. Add a new particle system, give it about 5,000 particles, set the start and the end to one frame. Set the lifetime to the duration of your animation, which in our case is going to be 100 frames. You want to emit from volume. Go down to velocity, turn off normal. Go down to physics, turn those physics off. Keep going down into render settings. You want to turn off the emitter and then field widgets down here. You want to turn off gravity. You don't want the particles falling and you want to pretty much just turn off all, all forces. So now you have static particles. If we go to a layer two, hit shift A, select curve, circle, and then we can turn that circle into a 2D instead of 3D, so that way it is filled. And then we can give that circle a material, add a new material, make sure you're in cycles, make it an emission, give it a slight bluish tint. And that is all we need to do for the material. Back here, select our particle system, and under render, you want to go to object and then select that star master. Now, RAM preview shows we have some stars, but they're a little large. So we go back to our star here and we'll scale it down. And that gives us our star field. We'll turn off that gray background. And we have a star field. Very good. So we'll go into our side view to make this a little bit easier. We're going to go at about 30 frames per second, so at about frame 60, set a keyframe for your camera. Then at frame about 85, you want to bring it down just a little bit. Hit I, set a location keyframe, and then you also want to go back to 60, and we want to create sort of a depth of field effect with the focal length. So while the camera's pushing in, the focal length is going to get wider. So we'll go from 35 out to about 28 and hover over it, hit I. So now we have that, that effect going on. Now for the particles, into particle two, select your master star. Under your curve settings, we'll go to extrude, hit I to set a keyframe, go to 90, extrude it out a really long way, say 750, hit I, create a keyframe to where now it extrudes. And then here back in layer one, You'll see that all the particles extrude with it. So take our camera and right at about frame 95, we'll take that camera, push it all the way through. I, location, and that is done. And now let's go ahead and render out one frame so that we can do some compositing. Now that that's rendered out, we can split the window and go to our node editor use nodes and let's add a color RGB curves and a filter glare set the glare to fog glow bring the threshold down to about 0.5 size up to point up to 9 and then let's darken that up a little bit not too much give it a nice contrasty curve and that's all you gotta do. Hit animation and wait for it to render. And that's all there is to it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you're enjoying these quick cuts. I know some people don't like the full drawn out tutorials. They just want the quick steps as quick as possible and they can pause and go along with it. That's what this is for. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys again very, very soon.